forgot about three people sitting in the back. And it hurts. It's a big problems. Come on, guys. This is a Mercedes. What are you guys doing? Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're got, cause I'm got, and hope you're got. If you're new to the channel, put that subscribe and that thumbs up. And uh, today we're gonna be going through the things that I don't like about the Mercedes-Benz C400 and why you should never purchase this car. Cause it's a big problems. Okay, so the first thing that I hate about this car and the biggest problem is the cost of parts. Now, because this is a Mercedes, it doesn't matter if you buy a Mercedes brand new or used, the parts are parts. Now, for this particular car, I've been talking and the owner tells me that he had to change three rims, each rim costing over $1,000, and that's only the rim. Now, take into consideration the shocks, the brakes, everything is overpriced. That is a big problem. So if you get this car, you got to have some money on the side to be able to spend on it after you get it. Also, he tells me every time you take it in for an oil change, it's over $500 to $700, sometimes even $1,000, depending on what service they have to do on the car. So costly for service and maintenance is very high on a Mercedes. All right, so the second thing that I hate about this car is that it's got very hard shocks. Even though it has different driving modes, it's always so tough. And, you know, if there are days that I'm going downtown and it's a hard day, it just bothers you. It just goes... And it hurts. So the third thing that I hate about this car is actually the seating in the back. It's very tight and cramped and it's very hard to sit. So watch me sit in the car. So the seat in the front, I was actually sitting there and look, I'm trying to sit in the back and there's no space down here. So if there are four big people trying to sit in the car, it's very tight to go on trips, not even long ones, but even short ones. Uh, and forget about three people sitting in the back, you can only put two and that's a big problem. If you have a family and you want to go somewhere, it's not a car for you, unless you have kids. The fourth thing that I don't like about this car that really bothers me as well is the middle console and the plastic makes noises while you go in shocks. Come on guys, this is a Mercedes, what are you guys doing? You pay all this much, all this premium in a Mercedes, and once you go in potholes and holes, the car starts making that tick, 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 plastic noise and it's very unpleasant. Alright guys, so the last thing that I don't like about this car is actually like I mentioned, um, so this car, C400, it goes into C450, then it goes into C43, but they're all the same sort of engine, they're V6 twin turbo. But the issue is on the C400, you do not have the exhaust button or the options, but on the C43, you do have an exhaust that makes crackles and pops. So if you're looking at getting a C400, then forget about your crackles and pops. Don't think about it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope this video helped you by making a decision if you're on the line on buying a C-Class, especially C400 to C43. Um, this video was about everything that I did not like about it and I thought it shouldn't be on this car for this price. Um, and if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to put that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're already not. And hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!